Get ready for some groundbreaking news. Congress has just given the green light to a historic piece of legislation that's set to have a profound impact on the financial well-being of countless Americans. That's right, $1,500 monthly social security checks have been officially approved. We're diving deep into the intricacies of this groundbreaking decision. Discover how this monthly $1,500 social security check is set to become a vital lifeline for retirees, disabled individuals, and those facing financial hardships. First up, who's eligible for these monthly payments? We'll break it down step by step, ensuring that you have a clear understanding of who qualifies and how these payments will be distributed. We'll explore the nitty-gritty details of how and when these payments will reach your bank account. We're talking about ensuring a smooth and hassle-free process for you and your loved ones. We'll also discuss the potential ripple effects and what this decision could signify for upcoming policies. Welcome to Money Matters. Your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. The landscape of social security is poised for transformation in the coming decades, bringing both challenges and opportunities. Although social security has been a long-standing pillar of financial security for many Americans, financial experts like Kevin Chancellor, the founder of Black Lab Financial Services, foresee substantial changes on the horizon. Chancellor underscores that social security has continually evolved since its inception and will likely continue to do so. However, the idea that it might completely disappear would require substantial legislative efforts from both political parties, a scenario that remains unlikely. Nonetheless, the future of social security isn't without its concerns. Even the youngest generation, Gen Z, faces potential hurdles when it comes to social security benefits. Despite their youth, experts are already sounding alarms about potential shortfalls in the benefits they'll receive. Chancellor emphasizes that if corrective legislative measures aren't implemented soon, the trust funds supporting the remainder of these benefits could be depleted as early as 2035. While this doesn't necessarily spell the collapse of the entire system, it does raise significant concerns about the sustainability of Social Security in the years to come. In light of these uncertainties, it's essential for individuals to stay informed and consider Social Security when planning their financial futures. This involves not only understanding the current state of the system but also being vigilant about potential changes and their implications. Proactive financial planning that takes into account various scenarios will be crucial in ensuring a more secure future for all generations. So, whether you're a young Gen Zer or a seasoned worker, staying on top of social security developments and integrating them into your financial strategy is a prudent step toward financial stability in an ever-changing world. Obtaining a social security card is a crucial step for many individuals, as it serves as a fundamental piece of identification and is essential for accessing various government benefits and services. To initiate this process, the primary requirement is to prove your identity convincingly. There are several acceptable documents for this purpose. Ensuring that individuals with different forms of identification can obtain their social security card. For those fortunate enough to possess a driver's license, it stands as a straightforward and widely accepted proof of identity. However, for those without a driver's license, there's no need to be concerned. Alternative documents are readily accepted, including an employee identification card a school identification card, or even a health insurance card. These documents serve as valid proof when applying for your social security card, allowing you to navigate the process with ease. Now, here's a critical point to keep in mind, you'll need at least two separate documents during the application process. This requirement exists because each document can typically only be used for two specific purposes, such as proving your citizenship and age. Additionally, it's important that at least one of these documents features both your name and a clear photograph of yourself. This dual verification ensures the authenticity of your identity, safeguarding against any potential issues down the road. With your identity solidly established, the next step is the application for your social security number. It's worth noting that the specific documentation you'll need for this step can vary based on factors like your place of birth and your citizenship status. For example, if you're a U.S. born adult citizen, you'll usually be required to demonstrate both your U.S. citizenship and your age. This often involves presenting documents such as a U.S. birth certificate or a U.S. passport. In 2023, the social security landscape is witnessing a noteworthy development with the maximum benefit reaching an impressive $4,555, thanks to an extraordinary 8.7% cost of living adjustment, COLA, increase. This increase represents a significant leap and marks the most substantial COLA boost in four decades. It's undoubtedly a positive development for retirees and beneficiaries who rely on these payments to support their livelihoods and cover essential expenses. However, 
it's crucial to acknowledge that while the COLA adjustment is undoubtedly a step in the right direction, it may still leave a substantial portion of Americans feeling that it falls short of meeting their financial needs. This sentiment is particularly understandable given the current economic climate. Inflation, which has been a persistent concern, has put a severe strain on many low-income individuals and families. As the cost of goods and services continues to rise, it becomes increasingly challenging for people to maintain their standard of living and keep up with their financial obligations. The Motley Fool poll conducted in December shed light on these concerns, indicating that approximately 55% of Americans are of the opinion that the COLA increase is insufficient. This sentiment reflects a deep-seated concern about the ability to cope with the rising cost of living, particularly for those who may be living on fixed incomes. Furthermore, the poll revealed that a significant majority of retired Americans, around 85%, have been directly impacted by the effects of rising inflation. They have experienced firsthand how the increasing prices of everyday goods and services have stretched their budgets, making it more challenging to maintain their desired quality of life in retirement. These dynamics underscore the importance of staying informed about social security changes and understanding the broader economic landscape. It highlights the need for individuals to make informed financial decisions, especially in times of economic uncertainty, as social security is a critical component of financial security for many Americans. Keeping abreast of developments, understanding the implications of COLA adjustments, and exploring additional avenues for financial security are essential steps toward ensuring a stable and comfortable future. Divorce can be a challenging and complex experience, and navigating the financial aspects can be particularly daunting. However, there's a little-known aspect of social security that can provide some financial relief for individuals who have gone through a divorce. The Social Security Administration, SSA, has provisions in place that allow an ex-spouse to claim retirement benefits based on their former partner's social security record, even if they haven't applied for those benefits themselves. The key requirement here is that you and your ex-spouse need to have been divorced for at least two consecutive years for this option to become available. Once that condition is met, your ex-spouse becomes eligible for these benefits. However, it's essential to understand that Social Security prioritizes fairness. If your ex-spouse is eligible for their own retirement benefits, they will receive those benefits first. Only if the benefits they would receive from your record are higher than what they are entitled to on their own record will Social Security supplement their income. This ensures that the combination of benefits equals the higher amount, safeguarding the fairness of the system. The maximum spousal benefit your ex can receive is 50% of what you would collect at your full retirement age, FRA. To put this into perspective, if your FRA benefit in 2022 is $3,345 per month, your ex-partner could potentially receive up to $1,672.50 per month from your record. Perhaps the most reassuring aspect of this arrangement is that it doesn't diminish the amount you receive in any way. Your own social security benefits remain intact and unaffected by your ex-spouse claiming benefits on your record. This is a crucial point to remember, as it ensures that both parties can secure financial support independently, making it a win-win situation for individuals who may have previously relied on their spouse's earnings. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.